Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to this Blender tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be making, um, sorry, this requested tutorial, so someone requested this tutorial, and you can request tutorials in the comments below. Anyway, so someone requested it and it was from the high flying uh, video I did, so here, and they wanted to learn how to make this spaceship here. Um, which is pretty interesting um, how I made it. I'm extremely happy with it and uh, yes so I'll just show a quick preview of what we'll be making. So um, we'll be making this. This very simple uh, low poly rocket. So let's get started. So if I just drag over Blender and let me just size it up according to my monitor here and we're going to start so first of all we're just going to delete this default cube and we're going to go into front view and hit shift a and we're going to insert a cylinder with 16 vertices and a cap fill type of triangle fan we're going to go into orthographic view just like that and we're going to drag it up like so. We're then going to enter tab mode, um, sorry, edit mode, and then wireframe view. And we're going to hit Control R to make a cut, and we're going to hit five on our keyboard. And click and click again. And now we're going to hit O on our keyboard to um, get proportional editing, so you can just enable down here. And make sure it's still on smooth. We're then going to hit B on our keyboard and select this middle cut like so. We're then going to hit scale, sorry, S. Well, what just happened? Sorry, live mode. And we're going to hit S. And you see the circle? If we use our scroll wheel, we're just going to size that up right, like that so. We're going to scale it on the Z axis and in general scale. Something like that will look nice. So it's looking reasonably nice. Okay, now we're just going to make our top. So we're going to select our center point here. Uh, go to the vertices select and select this center point. We're going to go into front view and we're just going to And we're just going to drag it up. Sorry about that, I'm hitting the wrong key. I'm going to hit scale and size. We're going to turn off proportional editing. And we're just going to drag it up like so. So if you didn't get that, we're going to select our middle point here. We're going to um, go to our front view, orthographic view, and your proportional editing, editing would be on still, so I'm just going to turn that off and we're just going to drag it up like so. So that's looking nice. So we're then going to... We're then going to... Um, going to Shift A. And we're then going to go to 3... And we're going to drag it out like so. R Y ninety. Sorry, no. R X ninety, and then R Z ninety. And then we're going to scale it on the X axis. And then we're going to go to the top view, and we're just going to pull it in like so. Go to go to side view and drag it down like so. Again, back to top view. I'm going to hit Shift D and drag it out. R Z ninety to scale it lengthways. Drag it to the center of our document and drag it out. Uh, 
and that is looking quite nice. We're just going to um, scale our main body on the z-axis a bit, just so it gets that nice rounded look. So it was just looking a bit too long there. So there's our wings for our um, rocket. So now we're just going to make our little little exhaust. Um, so to do that, we're just going to shift A. We're just going to add a cylinder with this time eight vertices. And we're going to view from the bottom. Is that zero? No. Oh, what's view bottom? Uh. Okay, that's the bottom. We're going to drag it over. We're going to drag it down. Scale it. Scale it on the Z axis so it becomes reasonably thin, like so. Um. And we're going to enter edit mode. We're then going to um, get our face selector here. Hit A to deselect and then hit S um, C. And we're going to select these faces. We're then going to our side view here. And we're going to hit E and then scale in like so. And if I go on the bottom I'm then going to hit X and we're going to delete those faces so that's a nice exhaust we've got there so if I go to three and I'm just going to sort that in there like so so that is the modeling done I just deleted the default light we had there that is the very simple modeling done. So I'm just going to add materials. You can skip this bit and add your own materials, but I'll just show you how I add the materials. So I select my first cylinder. I'm just going to name this body and make sure here you're always in cycles render. I always use cycles. I never use the blender default. And my color is just going to be uh, regular bright white. And of course the viewport color gives us a better look. And I'm just going to make a red. And I'm going to pick a red like so. Um, and just give these all the color of red. All the material of red, I should say. Sorry. We're then going to give this an exhaust color. So, exhaust. Yes. And we're going to give this a moderate gray. Like so. And now if you're wondering how I did the top colouring for our um, roof or the point of our rocket, I just went into top view, I got C on our keyboard and selected those top um, faces. Don't forget to hit escape on your keyboard to get out of the C mode, um, just in case you didn't know that. And then I'm just going to hit new, uh, the plus button here and choose red and click a sign. So that is looking really nice, our rocket. And we simply want to go into front, uh, to side view, select it all, hit join, and we'll just name this rocket. And that is very nice. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.